All right, guys, here we go. Bow season 2024. I'm gonna grab me some waters. I almost left without it. Can never forget the racket or dirt spray, baby. It's funny. No one's ever really. I don't think anybody actually knows what dirt smells like. But if I had to guess, Gerard would hit it right on the head. So, all right, we're in here. Good morning, everybody. We're ready. So. We're hopping in the truck, we're fixing to go pick up my buddy Munson, he's going to be behind the camera this morning. And we are going to go try to get on a giant Florida bug. So I appreciate you guys for watching and here we go, 2024 bow season baby. Hey what's going on guys, good morning. It's Hunter Rhodes here, it's a Florida Boy Outfitters. And it is opening day baby, here in Southern Sea of Florida. I got my buddy Mike Munson behind the camera. Um, we're in here hunting this, this really awesome piece of property. Uh, it's 30 acres, but uh, I know all you Midwest guys are laughing right now. I'm thinking 30 acres, but um, it's a really good piece of land. I've killed some good bugs out of here the last couple of years. <clears throat> but anyways, I just want to touch base with you guys. I haven't seen anything yet. It's about 7.15, so it's just now getting right. So we're gonna get settled in. We're gonna get settled in and ho hopefully see some deer this morning. So anyways, happy opening season. Good luck to all you guys out there and hope you guys have a safe and successful hunting season. What's going on guys? Hunter Rotaris with Florida Boy Outfitters. It is September 15th, the day after opening day. Um, you guys saw that opening opening morning hunt. Pretty uneventful, uh, you know, just the intro really because we didn't see any deer at all. Um, one buck that we've had on camera has been pretty regular, pretty good eight point, probably a Florida registry buck. Um, just for whatever reason, he didn't show yesterday, which is, that's why they call it hunting, not killing, right? But, um, anyways, we're just out here fixing sling a couple areas, about 2.30. Um, gonna head over to my dad's, meet up with my buddy Mike Munson. He's gonna be behind the camera for me again tonight, and we're gonna slip in there and try to get an afternoon hunt in. Um. I am targeting a handful of deer. Honestly, there's three or four bucks in there that I would shoot if I see them. Um, one real heavy eight point, I'll pop up a picture here. Uh, short tines, kind of wide. Nice buck, four and a half year old deer. Um, not the best genetics, not the highest scoring deer, but I'm all about shooting those mature bucks anyways. So, then there's another deer that I'm not gonna show a picture of. Uh, he is a ancient buck. I've had pictures of him all the way back to 2019 So once I get that if I get an opportunity with that deer and get him killed, you know You guys will hear the whole story about that deer. That's my number one um, but there's also a, a Younger deer that's a tall eight points probably like I said at the beginning of the video probably just a you know a um, or Florida registry buck right at 100 inches, so uh, And there's also a big ten that's been running around, but I haven't seen him in quite a while so Anyways, um, hope we can get on a deer tonight and get one killed for you guys. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to you know follow along, subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, man, let's get after it. All right, guys, I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna clip in just like I would be set it up in the deer stand. Got my tether. All my stuff is good. Uh, all my saddle hunting gear that you see me use in all my videos is all hang free products. Um, really good local boys, you know, to the central Florida area, you know, small business. So, and my boys. But, all right, we're gonna shoot a couple at 22 yards and see how we're feeling before we go out this afternoon. That's a full ring. Huh. 
That's a touch high. I don't know how I feel about that arrow, that second one. It's just a practice arrow, but um, let me adjust this real quick for you guys. It's just a practice arrow, but it's got a an old lighted knock on it. And I think it's it's kind of throwing the flight off a little bit. But anyways, that first one is my lighted knock. It's literally a hunt air that I hunt with. I always unscrew my broadheads off, so I took off my rec broadhead, um, the HXP, took that baby off, threw a practice tip on there. So let's go see how we did here. Um, I got that first one literally right where I want it, right here in that little pocket. So, feeling good, feeling deadly. Alright guys, I went ahead and switched that one arrow, it was throwing me off a little bit. It was only hitting about, probably two inches higher than the other one, but I really like my arrows to be as tight as possible, you know, so I can really get a just of where I'm hitting consistently and stuff like that, so. But, yeah man, this is just a little bit of afternoon practice before we go out and hunt tonight. I've got a, uh, my baby's in there taking him a little nap, and I think mom was taking her a nap too, so when that's going on, I do my best to slip away and sling a couple arrows. But, anyways, here we go. Exactly where I want that arrow. Blooper. Six feet away from me. There we go. Got a lot of stuff going on around <laughs> around the home front, right? new baby everything like that so it's been a little hectic but i'm still trying to get out in the woods and create some content for you guys but um if you like this kind of stuff where i'm just kind of milling around the house doing my thing i feel like this stuff's kind of personable so you guys know exactly what i'm doing i'm just a normal guy i'm out here slinging arrows on a sunday afternoon so but anyways this is what we're looking at looking good at 22 yards nice and tight keeping them in that pocket so anyways on that note I'm gonna throw my bow in the case go in the house get my camo ready everything and we're probably gonna roll the woods here soon try to be in the stand sitting down by about 4 45 5 o'clock but I appreciate you guys for watching once again and make sure you subscribe to my channel drop a like and a comment uh, anything your broadhead of choice your 3d targets you like to shoot you know your saddle setup whatever you want to do love talking hunting so anyways appreciate you guys
can tell we're not sitting in the woods anymore. Um, had our first close encounter of the 2024 archery season. I had uh, one of our target bucks in there. I don't really have a name for him or anything like that. He's just a, a nice eight point, probably a registry buck. Um, I had him in there at 23 yards and he never would turn broadside for me. Um, he came in, faced us for the last 15 minutes of light and you guys will be able to see in the video, once I got him kind of walking away, I changed the settings on my camera and you know jumped the ISO way up so I could see it was basically dark. But I just got him walking away and uh, Anyways, it was an awesome hunt. Uh, big shout out to Munson for, you know, being behind the camera and throwing down with me. Always. It was a, uh, it was a good opening weekend. Saturday was a bust. We didn't see no deer. We had a good time at my little sister's uh, 16th birthday. So shout out to Macy for she be getting her driver's license this week. Look out. Yeah. Be careful on the roads. Wear your seatbelt and look out for a black F250 4x4. Okay. Be careful. But um, yeah, I mean, we'll be back after it this weekend. Um, and I got all the confidence where we'll get one of them deer killed in there. So, but anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it this far in the video, we got a lot more content like this coming. Drop a like for me, subscribe to my channel, and, uh, we're going to try to keep pumping out some content for you guys. So we'll see y'all.